Okay, um, Germageddon demo. Just going to give you a rundown of a few of the sort of key tones that are in there. Uh, we're going to start off with a very low gain setting and then kind of work our way up through some of the gain settings and tweak a few knobs on the way and just kind of explain how things are going. So, first of all, uh, clean tone. Just set for a little bit of, uh, like on the edge of break up on the tubes there. Um, not getting much dirt from it. It's just going to kind of complement the pedal a little bit. You can push it a lot higher than that and it'll still sound pretty cool. Um, okay, like I say, very low gain set in there. We're going to start off on the neck pickup. Um, then I'll sort of play a little bit on the bridge. So, just a few chords. So, uh, quite low gain there. Just kind of adding a little bit of, uh, of something to it, a little bit of dirt and a bit more to sort of boost and overall warmness to the tone. Okay, we're going to bridge pickup. Probably actually less difference there. Um, just a little bit extra dirt and a, like I say, a little bit more warmness to it. Um, if you use the bass cut switch here, it really just kind of kills the tone because there's much, not much gain going through it. You kind of get that lo-fi kind of sound. Like if you're recording through a crap mic, which I am by the way, on my SLR. Um, okay, so if we um, kind of roll back the volume a little bit and then start bringing the actual fuzz up a tiny bit on that. That's giving us a bit more grit to it. We can kind of see where um, the fuzz is starting to come in now. Keep it going there. By the way, if you can hear it buzzing quite a bit, it's because I keep having to uh, lean over with the guitar and trying to stand as far away as possible um, within reason. You can see that this is kind of getting into the more territory of a you kind of classic fuzz. We'll crank that all the way up. Miles away now from the clean tone. Bring the, uh, the pre-gain all the way up, probably bring the volume back down there slightly. people thinking of uh, for the sort of fuzz face circuit which it's based off. Um, if we now again roll back the volume 
um, and start really sort of pushing the uh, the boost section there. You can see it starting to uh, really start to push out. Again, absolutely everything maxed out there. There is, uh, we are getting quite a, a sort of background noise here because it's, to be honest, not designed to kind of uh, really go this far. If you want to get that a bit more sort of um, freaking out, we can just misbias that slightly um, and see what kind of sound we get there. Okay, um, there is a bit more to be done there in terms of playing with it. If uh, if we want to just um, play there with the uh, the bass cut switch, clean tone again. see there as well um, it is getting a little bit of screeching going on um, it, when you stop playing like I said not really designed to have that much volume pushed through it or the uh, the boost that far up and um, so it can start to get a little bit freaky um, especially if we're sort of like missed by a sit like this um, if we then flip the boost back up and just crimp the tone a little bit sorry it's missing the knob because the pop that I put in there Really freaky sized pot. Won't fit these style of knobs on it, so I need to swap it out. Okay. Just then, give it a bit more treble. So, you can see they're getting pretty noisy and kind of freaky. Um, what I'll do there is start to uh, dial back the choke switch. You can see now it's pretty much uh, noise free apart from when you bring the guitar right into it. And now it's kind of, rather than just a pause, it's kind of crackling out a little bit. Um, what we've got here is kind of the uh, the sort of real spluttery, I guess almost Jack White-esque um, kind of sound. It kind of um, does lose a little bit of volume as well. Um, especially in these single coils when you put it into this mode because it is choking off the signal. Kind of 
kind of getting uh, slightly into the realm of the um, sort of uh, 8-bit Nintendo-esque style sounds. For that, um, so yeah, there's some of the, uh, the key sort of sounds. Um, if you ask me, I prefer it um, kind of at the low gain setting. There, if uh, we just go back to that, um, put that all the way. So yeah, I guess somewhere around there. Kind of a nice alternative to uh, overdrive. Just make sure that's all the way back. Sounds pretty nice on the neck pick up there. If you then want to uh, push it into really what's going to be considered probably a more general sort of buzz. bass when you're uh, in there. Gets a little bit harsh in my opinion. That's pretty much it. Um, some of the key sounds there. Got any feedback? Uh, any suggestions on how to make it a bit better? Maybe um, get rid of some of that hiss when you've got everything maxed out. I know that's kind of how all high gain pedals go. Um, I'd love to be able to, to control that a little bit more. Unfortunately, I'm not an electronics expert. Um, I just kind of bunk stuff together in the hope that it'll work. And when it doesn't, cut it out and try something else. Um, so, yeah. There we go. Cheers, guys.